A little over one month ago, I had a family, a home in paradise, and I lived in great comfort. I also had the capability, without any warrant of law, to search for, seize, and read your communications. Anyone's communications at any time. That is the power to change people's fates. It is also a serious violation of the law. I believe in the principle declared at Nuremberg in 1945. Individuals have international duties which transcend national obligations of obedience. Therefore, individual citizens have the duty to violate domestic laws to prevent crimes against peace and humanity from occurring. Accordingly, I did what I believed right and began a campaign to address what I witnessed. I did not seek to enrich myself. I did not seek to sell U.S. secrets. That moral decision to tell the public about spying that affects all of us has been costly. But it was the right thing to do and I have no regrets. Since that time, the government and the intelligence services of the United States of America have attempted to make an example of me, a warning to all others who might speak out as I have. I announce today my formal acceptance of all offers of support or asylum I have been extended and all others that may be offered in the future. This willingness by powerful states to act extra-legally represents a threat to all of us and must not be allowed to succeed. Accordingly, I ask for your assistance in requesting guarantees of safe passage from the relevant nations in securing my travel to Latin America, as well as requesting asylum in Russia until such time as these states accede to law and my legal travel is permitted. I will be submitting my request to Russia today and hope it will be accepted favorably. I believe that the legal means to stay in Russia safely to attempt to move to Latin America is to request asylum in the Russian Federation. As far as requesting assistance, I would also ask the organizations to petition the U.S. and European governments to ask for and demand the right to seek and enjoy asylum that the U.S. is a signatory to under the Universal Declaration on Human Rights. They need to explain why they are interfering with everyone's asylum right of legal uh, status to travel uh, and perhaps stay in Russia while this situation uh, involving the breach of my rights is resolved. Uh, as it stands now with stay, I have no complaints. Uh, I, I feel safe and, and comfortable. The airport's fine by me. I've been in, uh, in much more dangerous places.